Hello fellow alchemists. Today I will be creating copper chloride. This compound is a beautiful green color. It is also a useful oxidizer and chlorinating agent. Let's get on with the chemistry. First, I weigh out 50 grams of copper sulfate. Next, 24 grams of sodium carbonate. 120 milliliters of distilled water is added to both compounds making two solutions. Heat is needed to get them both to fully dissolve. So, what's the difference between chemistry jokes and physics jokes? Chemistry jokes can be funny periodically, but physics jokes have more potential. I quickly filter the sodium carbonate solution, because I see some crud floating around. When these two solutions are fully dissolved and combined together, copper carbonate and CO2 gas are created, along with sodium sulfate. The beaker is rinsed a few times to clean things up, and cool it down. This is just water. Next about 150 milliliters of extra water is added, which helps dissolve the excess sodium sulfate. The copper carbonate is not soluble in water, so it can be filtered to separate. Rinsing with cold water helps get rid of any leftover sodium sulfate. Next all of the copper carbonate is scraped and sprayed off the filters, into a clean beaker. Now, concentrated hydrochloric acid is added in small amounts, until the solution turns a clear green. This has converted the copper carbonate, into copper chloride, which is soluble in water. Now we need to evaporate off the liquid to gather the copper chloride crystals. This is going to take a while. Here's another one for you. Little Willy was a chemist. Little Willy is no more. What he thought was H2O was H2SO4. Okay last one. What did the chemist say when there was an explosion in the lab? Oxidants happen. Finally the solution is starting to show crystals on the beaker, so it is poured into a crystallizing dish. The yellow-brown color you see is actually copper chloride anhydrous. When mixed it rehydrates and we are eventually left with copper chloride dihydrate. This is the beautiful green crystal I am after. With time and stirring, the crystals slowly dry. I am eventually left with some very pretty copper chloride that is fairly dry. Thanks for watching. 